cake, made use of her seafaring skills, and sailed across oceans of soup, causing spills. But Chili Lagoon slathered pancake and muck, and then at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Don't go that way, yelled a chickpea to warn her. But Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind dressings, one Russian, one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean avalanche. Toast reemerged in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly. Not making a whisper, beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide, but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an old party platter. So quickly he climbed. Up a celery ladder. Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling, too tired to push, they were limping and stumbling. There stood the bottle of syrup at last, but wait, it was empty. They stood quite aghast. Licking his lips with a sneer that was awful, out of the shadows crept Baron von Waffle. I got here first while you boasted and bickered. My, was that syrup delicious? He snickered. With one evil laugh, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone; no more reason to fight. Trudging back home, beneath layers of grime, Toast said, "Perhaps we should not fight this time. Next time." Agreed," replied Pancake. "As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split up that butter right there."